plugged the Mevo Plus in and I've waited for about 30 seconds, a minute, and then I press the button on top to power it up. If you don't leave it 30 seconds, it'll be using the battery, not the external power. It'll drain the battery and it won't charge you up, and you'll wonder why. Then I'll place two wooden pegs there, front and back, to get around about 12 degrees when I start up. I'll put a dot and a line to line it up so I know that's near enough where my target line for hitting the ball towards the screen is. The whole setup is about 18 feet from the Mevo to the ball to the screen. Now I have the Mevo on a plank. A board with underlay and grass on top. Grass. Carpet on top. Looks like grass. And that just raises the Mevo up to the mat and hitting mat, which is around about three quarters of an inch high. There. There. Now it's not exact, but it's near enough. And then I just have this carpet, which I'm going to change to green, to stop any of the balls ricocheting off there and bouncing all over the tiles. So that's my screen. It's three meters wide, but it's only three meters high at one side and two and a half meters high at the other. And then I've got all the bits and pieces on top to stop the ball hitting. But you don't see that on any of my videos. Oh. Right, the actual ball to screen is 3.4 meters, which is around about 11, 11 foot two. Now I hit the ball off the tee there, and then I hit any other ball there. I hit all my wedges around about half a foot back, which is around about three meters seven. And I'll put about three meters seven adjacent to that ball there. And I have a line straight to the screen, five foot five, 11 foot, another line there to show where I'm going. I've raised this up a bit so it doesn't bounce because there's a piece of wood there holding the screen down. So that's the Mevo setup. And the Mevo is eight foot to here, exactly. So that's the Mevo setup.
So I have the ball placed 11 feet from the screen. I have the ball placed 5 foot 5.